Hello there, my name is Kelly Fincham. I'm an assistant professor in journalism at Hofstra University. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the basic steps that you'll need to integrate your Rebel Mouse and WordPress sites, thus integrating your social and multimedia content. So, why Rebel Mouse and WordPress? Well, simply because it's very easy to display social media content on a single page using Rebel Mouse, and then by integrating it with WordPress, it's very simple to toggle between the two when you want to use either WordPress or your Rebel Mouse as a landing page. So, before we get started, make sure that you have the following. You'll need the admin username and password for the WordPress.org site. You'll need the username and password for the Twitter account. And you'll also need a really good sense of humor because something is always going to go wrong. So the first thing you want to do is actually sign up for your Rebel Mouse site. So make sure that you use the Twitter account that you'll associate with the Rebel Mouse page. So for example here, I use my Kelly Fincham Twitter account with my Kelly Fincham Rebel Mouse account. And for the Long Island Report Rebel Mouse page, I use the Long Island Report Twitter account. If you don't have an account already, now would be a good time to make one. Okay, so once you have your social media account sorted out, head over to rebelmouse.com and sign up for an account. It will prompt you to give your new site a name after you've signed in with your social media account. So ours is rebelmouse.com forward slash Long Island Report, so our site name is Long Island Report. And this is the area where you will claim your Rebel Mouse site name. So once you get logged in, you'll see a screen like this. You navigate using the tabs at the top, and the ones that we're most concerned with on the top left to right are Sites, Content, Feeds, Drafts and Embed. I'll only be connecting the Twitter and Facebook accounts for this tutorial, but you can also connect through Flickr, Instagram and your Google Plus account. Google Plus, huh? Now, Content and Feeds is where your content actually comes from. And as you can see here, you can add automatic content from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest and RSS feeds to populate your front page. You can filter that by hashtag or account name. So what we're looking at here now is the draft section. And very important to note here that Rebel Mouse will only post media rich content straight to your front page. It automatically saves any of your tweets without video or images to drafts. This is a really smart move because otherwise your front page could look something like this with all these text only drafts. But once you're in the draft section, you can actually push post at the front page if you want to. All you have to do is scroll over the post and then the options will pop up to post, retweet or remove, as you can see here with the red arrow. So now that we've looked at the site, the content and feeds and drafts, we're going to go in now and get the embed code. The embed tab is where you get that code to integrate with your WordPress site. As you can see, it offers the option to either generate the HTML or use the WordPress plugin. For this tutorial, we're going to use the plugin. It couldn't be simpler. Just click the hyperlink. And once you've hit the hyperlink, it will bring you to this page. Click download, which I've um, naturally outlined for you with some red pen and an arrow. And it will install a zip file to your preferred download destination. So now you go ahead and log back into the WordPress site and go to the plugin section. You're going to select add new and then you're going to select upload and then you navigate to the place where you've just downloaded that zip file. So once the zip folder has uploaded, you will see a new item for Rebel Mouse in your settings panel on the left hand side. Click there and it'll bring you through to this page. Now we have two settings here to be concerned about. We have the home setting to create Rebel Mouse as your home page and then we have page setting to create a page for your Rebel Mouse page. So we're going to take the home setting first. And the name that you need to type in there is the same name that you gave your Rebel Mouse page back at the start. So yours is whatever it is and ours is Long Island Report. So now we're moving on to the page settings. And this is where it can be a bit confusing. So think of it like this. The home setting told your WordPress which page to use for the home page. And now in page settings, we're actually creating a new page for your website, which is separate from the home page. That's why this page needs a name because it will live in the pages section of your WordPress. So give your page a name, make sure that it points at your site and then save the changes and we're on to the last piece of the puzzle. So under the reading settings in your WordPress, we're going to change which works as the landing page or home page. So we're going to change the setting, which the default is latest post to static page. And then we're going to choose our newly created social stream page. Save the changes and you'll be able to see your new front page. 
So as you can see here, when we select the social stream to be our homepage for Long Island Report, it gives us up this front page, which is based solely on the social media content. And then by toggling back and forth, we can set latest posts. This is what it will look like on WordPress when we have latest posts selected. And in this way, we can use WordPress to toggle back and forth between our social media content powered by Rebel Mouse and our regular content powered by WordPress. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please tweet me at Kelly Fincham. Thank you.